Hey guys, welcome back to my adventures in Dragon Age. For some reason I blanked on the name for a moment. I think I'm gonna keep um, playing the game in this... I think it was called Tactical View. Um, I notice there's someone, Johan, outside for me to talk to, but I want to see if I can talk to Duncan some more first. Is there something else I can do for you? I guess I can. Um, what is happening outside of the tower? Ah, I imagine you don't leave very often, do you? Not exactly. Apprentices aren't allowed to leave. I am not a good source of news, I fear. I am preoccupied with the Darkspawn incursion. Uh, how many mages have joined the King's army? When the King sent out the call, the Circle of Ferelden sent only seven mages to Ostagar. I asked King Caelan's permission to come and seek a greater commitment from the Circle. Mm. How many mages could you possibly need? I hope to place a mage or two within every contingent. I cannot do with just seven. Mages will make all the difference in this battle. The Darkspawn have their own magic, and our resources must exceed theirs. Do, do you think I could join the army? I don't know. Do you? I doubt I'd be allowed to go. I sometimes wonder if the Chantry's many laws regarding magic are necessary. Darkspawn are a greater threat than blood mages, even abominations. It takes decades for the world to recover from a blight. I wish the Chantry could see that. We must stop at nothing to defeat the Darkspawn. Ah, uh, listen to me. An old man's rantings can't be very interesting. As an apprentice, old man talking have defined my life. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna say, I learned much from what you said. <laughs> you are too kind. Uh, can you tell me more about the, dark, uh, the Grey Warden and the Dark Spawns, please? Certainly. I am intimately familiar with these subjects, after all. Have there been many darkspawn attacks? A horde has formed within the Korkari wilds in the south. If they are not stopped, they will strike north into the valley. We Grey Wardens believe that an archdemon is leading the horde. That sounds ominous. Ominous. Oh, wait. What's an archdemon? Darkspawn do attack the surface in ragtag bands, but archdemons are capable of rallying the darkspawn, turning them into an unstoppable force. A horde of darkspawn, a veritable army. It is dire news indeed. I fear this is what we will have to face. Um, I've heard about Darkspawn sightings, but an entire horde? They usually move around in small groups, but there are always more of them, lurking underground, biding their time. And the king is mustering an army to beat back this threat? Yes, perhaps it will be enough if we play our cards right. Why were Irving and Gregor arguing about the war? It is not my place to comment. Please, I'd like to know. Gregor serves the Chantry, and the relationship between the Chantry and mages has always been strained. You've realized by now that the Chantry merely tolerates magic? They watch only because they feel they must. I don't see why Chantry and Mages can't get along. The Chantry believes that a mage should fear his power. It was the pride of Mages, they say, that brought the Darkspawn upon us in the first place. 
Any mages who join the King's army can unleash their full power on the Darkspawn. In fact, I'm counting on it. Gregor may be afraid of what will happen. What if the mages decide they no longer want to be governed by the Chantry? What are your opinions on the matter? I believe we must defeat the Darkspawn, <clears throat> one way or another. My opinions end there. Very single-minded on there, I guess. Well, it's fine. I'd like to talk more, but I have duties to attend to. Of course. Don't let me keep you. I feel like maybe some of the choices I made there, made there uh, had me miss some things that he could have said. I don't know. But let's just move on. Hey, Joan. I'm glad I caught up to you. Are you done talking with Irving? Hello again, Johan. I need to talk to you. Do you remember what we discussed this morning? Of course I do. We should go somewhere else. I don't feel safe talking here. You're starting to worry me. I've been troubled. I'll explain. Come with me, please. Okay. We should be safe here. All right, what's going on? A few months ago, I told you that I met a girl. This is Lily. <laughs> My condolences, Lily. <laughs> to be honest, that's the kind of friend I tend to be, but... Um, I'll go for the next best option. Ah, I was beginning to doubt her existence. I was afraid to tell anyone. Lily was becoming a Chantry priest. She's taken vows. Lily's been given to the Chantry. She's not allowed to have relations with men. If anyone finds out, we'll both be in trouble. She's not allowed relations with men, but she allowed relations with women. Hmm. Am I gonna become a mysterious girl here? <laughs> um, I won't tell anyone. Thank you. I knew you'd stand by me. You haven't brought me here just to chat about this. I wish that was the only thing I needed to talk about. Remember I said that I didn't think they wanted to give me my harrowing? I know why. They're going to make me tranquil. They'll take everything that I am from me. My dreams, hopes, fears, my love for Lily. All gone. That does sound terrible. They'll extinguish my humanity. I'll just be a husk. Breathing and existing, but not truly living. How did you find out? I saw the document on Gregor's table. It authorized the right on Jowin, and Irving had signed it. Why would they decide There's that? There's a rumor about me. People think I'm a blood mage. They think that making me a circle mage will endanger everyone. And are they right about that? Of course not. But it's not safe here for me anymore. I need to escape. I need to destroy my phylactery. Without it, they can't track me down. We need your help. Lily and I can't do this on our own. Give us your word that you will help, and we will tell you what we intend. I need to think this over. I suppose that's fair. But please, give us your answer soon. Time is running out. You see, you see... You guys want my help with this, and I can understand, like, being forced to go tranquil doesn't sound like it, it's a nice thing. But you're asking me to risk a lot as well, because I could get in trouble for helping too. And also, this seems like, uh, to me, it seems like it might be some major 
questing. So before I move on, I want to see if I can gather more. Oh, I can talk to him now. See, more information, more stuff, more Ooh, books. Books about blood mages. Um, I don't know if I should talk to Irwin yet, because that's like... No, Irwin? That's his name, right? I'm bad with names. Oh, I'm, I'm getting better at names, Irwin. Oh, see, I can talk to her now too. Are there more new quest stuff? No. You can uh, come and talk to me anytime you like. Yeah, I'm trying to right now, but you, you, you okay then. And is there anything new to my quarters? Ah, there you are. You are to be moved out of the apprentice's dormitory, and these are to be your new quarters. The Tranquil will move your belongings this afternoon. Go on, make yourself comfortable. It's afternoon, but I see no, like, indication of time. So I guess this is, like, um... Let's see... Who will I talk to first? I'll go talk to this one first. Senior Enchanter Leora. Yes? Loera, uh, whatever. Uh, who are you? Senior Enchanter, Leora, in charge of the Circle's laboratory. Is there something you want? What's that door? That leads to the Circle's cavern storerooms. There are caves running through the rock that the Circle is built upon. But of course, you know this. Can I look inside? Uh, no, uh, I, I can't let anyone in there just now. Why? <sighs> there are just things in there that I would prefer to keep safe. What things? Sensitive magical materials and substances, of course. I am in the midst of stock taking, checking inventory, and I, I, I can't let anyone in there in case they m mess things up. Yes. Yeah, you're not fooling anyone, lady. Something's going on. Also, why are you out here and not in there? Because I am taking a break. I hate the musty smell of caves and I, uh... Ugh. Look, I'll tell you the truth. Just keep it to yourself. There is an infestation of spiders in the caves. I don't know how they got in there, but it's probably my fault. I was promoted to senior enchanter less than a fortnight ago, and I don't want anyone to find out. They'll think I'm incompetent. Are you? <laughs> this is a question I can actually ask. Well, are you? I'll just offer my help. Do you need any help? I could use some, I'm sure. I've been too busy with my new duties. I haven't been able to deal with the spiders. If you cleared them out for me, I would owe you a favor. A big one. Sure. Wonderful. Here is the key. Oh, and be careful in there. I'd really like to keep the damage done to the Circle's property to a minimum. Also, I just remembered I was given a staff earlier, and apparently the staff I got in uh, in the tutorial is gone. There we go. Got the same staff as her. At least, how it looks. Uh... Better robes, thank you very much. And a ring of study, sure. So, this door, huh? I use that key. I'm just gonna take everything I can as well. Let's get started. Ooh. Spirit charm amulets. Yay.
Mm. Left or right? Left or right? Mm. Let's go right. That spider came out of nowhere. That wasn't fun. On it. Show me what you got. Okay, that was. Now, luckily, I do not have arachnophobia. But maybe I should put a little warning at the start of this dungeon. I'll let you guys know when I'm done fighting spiders. So people with arachnophobia, that, that's when they can look again. I do take it seriously. I know people who have arachnophobia and, and I take that shit seriously. Where's the... I'm getting targeted around the corner. There he is. <laughs> Might be a good thing I'm playing in like this this top overview now, so don't see them up close. On it. Right. Nothing here. But this looks like where the spiders may have come from. Looks like there's some something here. Anyway. Ooh. Oh, loot. Novice frost rune. A weapon rune. Can upgrade weapons? Okay, I guess that's something I don't have access to yet because I haven't read anything about it yet. On it. Right. Is it just me, or do you actually think you have a chance? Gotcha. Oh no, there was one behind me too. Good thing I'm no stranger to these kind of games. Ooh. Got a new staff? Acolyte staff. Huh. Same damage and everything, but instead of plus one magic, it does plus two spell power. Yes, please. Paid striders. Yes, please. Private documents. A list of household accounts and expenditures over time. Useful for merchants negotiating contracts and wages. Okay. Sounds like uh, blackmail with extra steps to me, but fine. Ah. It's a slightly bigger version of the health poultry thing. Okay. 
Ignore that sound, I just accidentally knocked something over. Oh! I think I just... No, never mind, I thought this was the, like, tea split I was at before. So I thought I just went in a big circle, but never mind. Uh, again, two at once. If I... Yeah, I can't target them both at once because they're too close. Let's make it quick, shall we? What the... Oh my god! This is Arachnophobes Nightmares. And I'm not just using the word because I know it. Let's get started. Oh my. That was something. Go. Another one. Right. Giant spiders, indeed. Imagine having gone through that in like the up close view, like this. Yeah, I'm kind of glad I'm doing it this way. I don't really mind spiders, but I don't like the idea of seeing huge ones up close like that. Oh, I've gone in a big circle, right? Map, tell me if that. Yeah, this is the entrance. So I guess this means I got all the spiders. No? Yeah, you've killed all the spiders in the storage caves. Okay, okay. What's she gonna give me? As you wish. Maybe an awesome piece of equipment. Okay. You're back. Are the spiders gone? I've dealt with your infestation. Really? Oh, that's wonderful. You've saved my hide, I'm sure. And I owe you a favor, so if you need anything, I'll be here. Okay then, goodbye. Thanks again. So I guess I can come back to her for something later. I'm gonna save here just quickly doing a little save here because I'm, I'm not sure if talking to Irvin might be connected to what um, Joan has been asking about even though it is a different symbol on the on the mini map and on the map do this like main quest I guess I just I'm just gonna talk to him right now. I trust you saw Duncan back to his quarters? Of course, First Enchanter. I'm glad you met him. He's a most honorable man. I agree. It was my privilege to have met him. Grey Wardens are peerless warriors who sacrifice all for our sakes. 
We can learn much from them. Now, did you need something? Let me first ask about those books about blood magic on his desk. I've removed them from the library. I was advised it might be unwise to leave them where any apprentice may read them. They will be put away somewhere very safe. Now, is there anything else? When is Joan going through the harrowing? When he is ready. Okay, I'm gonna see what happens if I ask this. Joan fears he's going to be made tranquil. And how does he know this? I suppose the young initiate he dallies about with revealed it to him. You think I didn't know? I did not become first enchanter by keeping my eyes and ears shut. Joan, you... Oh my... Everyone knows. Everyone knows. Um... Yes, Lily told him. Lily should know better than to tell Jowen, though it is difficult to fault her actions. The Templars and priests should have been more discreet around her. But there is no point in assigning blame. Jowen knows, and nothing can be done about that. He's very reasonable about this. Now why? Gregor says he has proof and eyewitness testimony that Jowen has been practicing blood magic. I cannot say more. Were it left to me, things might be different. But the Chantry... I'm sorry, child. This rite of tranquility will happen. See... He is a very reasonable man so far. And I have a save before this conversation. I wonder what would happen if I told him that Joan plans to escape. Oh, interesting. What more do you know? I only know he plans to destroy his phylactery. And I suppose his lady friend is involved? Yes, she must be helping him. She would know more about the repository than he would. Do you know anything else? No, Lily has the plan. I suspected Lily would tell him of the impending right if she found out. But I never expected they would have the gall to break into the repository. What will you do with Yohan? Reporting him to Gregor and the Templars will accomplish nothing beyond what's already planned. If the Circle must punish one of its own, I will see the Chantry done the same courtesy. Lily will not walk free while my apprentice suffers. I can see where that's coming from. You could just tell them she's involved? If we mention her involvement, the Chantry will say that she was framed. No, oh, she must be caught in the act. Uh... Now when you think about it, from what I've been able to gather so far, Seems there might be some some issues with like disrespect on both sides, but mainly from the Chantry because the mages are technically prisoners from the moment they show magical abilities. I suspect the Chantry would do the same. But then again, is it right for him to technically use Lily to get back at the Chantry? 
And while I can see people thinking the Chantry protects the majors, I kind of feel more like the Chantry tries to protect the outside world from the existence of majors. If, if my thinking makes sense here. Um, you know what? Let's just, let's just go to Vicious. He's getting Vicious. I'm going to join the Vicious way. They would do the same if to us. If you want to survive, you must learn the rules and realize that sometimes sacrifices are necessary. Jowen will become tranquil, but Lily must also face the consequences of her actions. How did you learn of their plan? Do they trust you? Jowen told me of their intentions. But I don't know the plan. Then do this. Learn the plan and offer to help carry out their scheme. With solid proof of their crime, we can act. Mm. See, my problem here now is that... To my character, this Yoan person has been a friend for a while already, right? Though I personally have no connection to this Yeoman. I haven't seen what the friendship so far has entailed. I haven't read, seen, heard anything about that friendship ex aside from him saying that they're friends and my character saying, hey, we're friends, but don't ask of this in the previous episode. And he has been a bit like annoying in the last episode like as soon as I told him like hey I can't talk about the harrowing that he'd be like oh so far our friendship that which is annoying right so while I don't have any personal connection to Yoan my character apparently has connection with Yoan and now I'm a little torn between if I should do this or not two hours later you know, to be honest, considering where we are and this environment and everything, I think it might actually be more profitable, if that's the right word for me, to go along with Irvin instead of with Joan. Because I, I, I don't think this, like, if I, if I am going to go along with Joan, right? and we get caught, I'm in trouble. But if I go along with Irwin and we get caught, Irwin can vouch for me, right? I don't know how big the difference will be of my choice here. Um, if anybody wants to tell me, feel free to do so in the comments. Um, but I'm going along with Irwin. Go. Convince them you will risk all for their cause. I will be outside the repository with a contingent of Templars. Let them see the mischief into which their initiate led our student. Perform well, and your dedication will be rewarded. Okay. I made the choice. I'm going to commit to this. I'm going to commit so hard, I'm even gonna delete the save game I made for it. There we go. I deleted the save I made before this. That's how much I'm committed to this. So, I'm gonna make them think I'm, I'm, I'm working with them. Are you going to help us? You have my word, I'll help Thank you. Thank you. We will never forget this. So what do you intend to do? I can get us into the repository, but there is a problem. There are two locks on the phylactery chamber door. The first enchanter and knight commander each hold one key. But it is just a door. There is power enough in this place to destroy all of Ferelden. What's a door to mages? What if it's a magical door? We have no choice. We cannot get our hands on both keys. I once saw a rod of fire melt through a lock. You could get one from the stock room, but Wayne doesn't release such things to apprentices. 
I'll go to the stockroom and retrieve this rob. We should stay here. One mage at the stockroom will attract less attention than a mage, an apprentice, and an initiate. Good idea. Good luck. Our prayers go with you. So, let me just make sure I'm... Okay. Obtain a lot of fire from Owain. Uh, that's the tranquil guy I talked to earlier. Welcome to the Circle Stockroom yeah. of Magical Items. My name is Owain. How may I assist you? Um... I would like to know if that is how he greets everyone. Do you find my greeting disagreeable? I apologize, but I am not inclined to change it. Do you need something? I didn't find your greeting disagreeable. I just... Never mind. I, I can't put it to words too much. Um... What is the stockroom for? The stockroom stores components used in magical and alchemical experiments. Do you require something? I I don't want to ask about uh, him really being a tranquil mage because it it feels to me like it would be a really really insensitive thing to ask. So I need a rod of fire. Rods of fire serve many purposes. Why do you wish to acquire this particular item? I need the rod for my research into burning things. Here is the form, request for rod of fire. Have it signed and dated by a senior enchanter. I will release a rod to you once I have the signed form. I'll be back shortly. Thank you. Huh. Senior mage willing to sign a permission form. Well, I guess Irvin can help there, right? Since I'm working with him. Oh, wait, wait, this way. You are back. Has something gone wrong with the plan? I need this form signed. Oh wait, how will you know when we get into the repository? I will know. Trust me. See? See? The fact that he just knows when we would be in the repository means that even if I hadn't gone along with him, uh, even if I hadn't even told him and just gone along with Joe, he would have known and I would have been in trouble. I... Mm. And, and I don't know Joe well enough to, to consider if I'm willing to get in trouble over him, you know? Uh, I need his form signed. A rod of fire? Why do you... Uh, I understand. Trying to break through the door this way. Interesting. And what's interesting? The phylactery chamber door is warded and resists all magic worked upon it. I figured that will be the case, since it is something t that mages need to be kept out of. What am I supposed to do then? Hmm. Not easy breaking into a locked chamber, is it? Still... Ah, yes. The phylactery chamber shares a wall with the artifact vault. Age and dampness seeping up from the ground have weakened a segment of it. You can break down this part of the wall to gain entrance into the chamber. Well, we're gonna break down walls now. How would I do this? We have an old Tevinter device in the vault. It may have been used for defense or possibly entertainment. It amplifies spells. 
Use the rod on this artifact and aim it at the wall. Won't someone hear that? The repository is deep within the tower. It's unlikely anyone will hear anything except a muffled rumbling. Besides, odd noises are quite commonplace here. I can imagine that. And what if it destroys everything else in the room? The artifact releases controlled bursts of energy. Just aim it in the right direction. Convenient. I shall do this. One more thing. Do not be quick to suggest there is another way in. I don't want Lily and Jowan to suspect. Make it seem like you came up with the idea yourself. Of course. Here is the form with my stamp. Owen will release the rod to you now. All right. Makes sense, makes sense. Owen, I got a signed form for you. <laughs> Welcome to the Circle Stockroom hmm. of Magical Items. My name is Owain. How may I assist you? Here's the sign Everything form. looks to be in order. Here is the rod you requested. Thank you. Hmm. I've got so many marks on my map. That one. Joan. I hate waiting. It makes me nervous. I'm here. I have the rod of fire. That was quick. To the repository then. Freedom awaits. Yes, freedom awaits. Where is this repository? Oh. Wait, no, no, no. Now you must go to the basement. Oh, that's where, where I where I went earlier. And then uh, there was a locked door. Okay. I remember. Aren't people gonna ask questions about all three of us running around together? No? Wait, where is the way to the next? Oh, right, right, right. Going one floor below is this way. This way. And we're loading. Surrounded by books. Oh, no longer uh, practicing the shield stuff. I see. Just in case if anything new is like interactable or readable and stuff like that. You never know. Mm -hmm. No idea what that room's for, but oh yeah, this is the way to the basement. Alrighty. The chantry calls this entrance the victim's door. It is built of 277 blanks, one for each original Templar. It is a reminder of all the dangers those cursed with magic pose. How do we get past it? The doors can be opened only by a Templar and a mage entering together. 
The Chanter provides the password which primes the ward, and the mage touches it with mana to release it. Since you have the password, can't Jovan help you enter? The ward only responds to the touch of one who has been through the harrowing. Okay, so what must I do? First the password. Sword of the Maker, Tears of the Fade. I... I heard something. The password only primes the door. Now it must feel the touch of mana. Any spell will do, but hurry. Okay. Apparently I suddenly have some form of ice magic that I hadn't before. At least that's what it looked like. No, I don't have ice mani magic. I guess. Do you have the rod with you? Melt the locks off. Okay, use the rod. Looks like a sword. What's the matter? Why isn't it working? Let's just try it again. Lily, something's not right. I can't cast spells here. Nothing works. These wards carved into the stone. This must be the Templar's work. They negate any magic cast within this area. I should have guessed. Why would Gregor and Irving use simple keys for such a door? Because magical keys don't work. How do you keep mages away from something? Make their powers completely worthless. That's it then. We're finished. We can't get in. There must be another entrance. You mean through that door? That door probably leads to another part of the repository. What are the chances of there being another entrance? Worth a try. We can't get into the chamber the way we planned, but we're not about to give up. We can see where this door leads, but I don't think it'll be easy. It looks locked for one. The rod will work on those locks, shouldn't it? Yes. Let's hope they haven't warded that door as well. Let's hurry. We've wasted enough time. I'm not giving up. We've come too far. Oh, that's not good. Oh. This should be easy. Sentinel. I got a feeling that used to be a statue before. So I guess we... We can expect more of those later. I set them both on fire. Take all. Right. Take all. Wait, 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 wait. Was there something to be looted from? No. No, this one wasn't lootable. Okay, let's go. Another stack. Let me check what I got so far. I got a dagger. Same stuff as I had earlier. Okay. Okay. So nothing much yet. As you wish. Hmm. Nothing here? Nothing here. Yeah, 
There we go. Got them. Let's get started. What is... Oh! Oh! You don't have much. Neither of you do. I don't want to give you any of my stuff, though. I got a feeling if I give you some of my stuff, I'll end up losing it. Wait, wait, wait. Can I? Oh my god. It, it's not right to just... Okay. <clears throat> Please forget I did that. And I set slowly on fire. Oh, I leveled up. Let's get started. Not of the maker. Let me do this. Leveling up is nice. I'm so cunning, 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 and have a lot of willpower. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, let's let's do more more talking skill. Arcane shield. Castle generates protective sheets that helps divert incoming attacks, gaining a bonus to defense while this mode is active. More defense would be nice. I can summon things. Ooh, that is nice, 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 nice. I think I'll go with lightning. Some more damaging. On it. Let's use my new lightning skill. Let's get started. No quarter. Don't have an area of effect, but I still have this thing I haven't used yet. Stalkers. Let's get started. Okay. I don't like stalkers, shallow or deep. It's a door, but let's first look around here. Ooh. Storage cabinets. Ooh. An enchanter. Oh. 
โอ้โหยัสปลีสกูติงอะคิดลุกิงอะรอนด์There's a door there, and a door there. Okay, this is just a little room. Looks like a, an That's abandoned wish. torture room. Got a new belt. Let me check out this new belt. I think I'll keep the plus three defense that I have so far. Oh, that makes things more easy. <clears throat> Way more easy. Wait, what? Plot items. Okay. Let's keep going now. Shall we? Enemies approaching. This should be easy enough. Um, the distance. At least one of them stunned has helped so far. I'm awesome. Ooh, more loot. Loot, 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 loot. Another acolyte staff. I guess at some point I'll be able to like sell the things like those ac extra acolyte staffs and stuff. Oof, I just burped. I'm sorry about that. Over. There we go. You. Show me what you. Why don't you have a staff? And why why does Lily not have weapons of their own? Like I don't want to give the ones I found because I don't want to lose them. We'll need another way into the phylactery chamber. Let's explore the Ooh. repository. Now this is pretty. Blackened hardwood staff. Oh, now this makes me need to take a moment. 
Yeah, no, I'll keep uh, keep using the enchanter staff that I got. I'm not gonna get rid of the black and hardwood staff though. Is that? There's something odd about that statue. Wonder who the statue is. Greetings. Make his breath. What? Did he just say something? I am the essence and spirit of Eleni Zenovia, once consort and advisor to Archon Valerius. Prophecy my crime, cursed to stone for foretelling the fall of my lord's house. Okay, that doesn't make sense to me. If 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 like someone or like a, a, a very powerful person or being, which is good with prophecies and foretells things if they foretell or or like prophesize your own downfall why would you need to punish them it's not like they cause your downfall they just foretold it i might just not be getting that archon valerius i'm not sure the archons were the lords of the imperium Forever shall you stand on the threshold of my proud fortress, he said, and tell your lies to all who pass. But my lord found death at the hands of his enemies, and his once proud fortress crumbled to dust, as I foretold. A Deventer statue! Don't listen to it. The Deventer lords dabbled in many forbidden arts. This is a wicked thing. How did a Tervinter statue get here? It must have been here for years. Look at the dust. I feel a little sorry for it. Uh, her. Weep not for me, child. Stone they made me, and stone I am. Eternal and unfeeling. And I shall endure till the Maker returns to light their fires again. What does that mean? Ambiguous rubbish. It could mean anything. I can do it too. The sun grows dark, but lo, here comes the dawn. Stop talking to it. Please, both of you. We can't do much with it anyway. Come on, Jowen. Let's go. Wow, that old wall's about to come down any moment. Hey, I think the phylactery like chamber is on the other side way. of the wall behind this bookcase. Wall looks weak. We in should be spots able to here. find something that can knock some of the bricks loose. The bookcase is in the way. If we work together, we can shift it. Come on. Now we just need to find a way to get through this wall. Looks like the statue of a dog. Use this with the rod. I'm sure it'll work. Hurry, the clock's ticking. Wow, that's a bang. This is the oh, factory chamber. It worked. Oh, I already moved the bookcase. I, I thought I could read stuff from we the We must bookcase. find Jowen's phylactery. Quickly. Let's look around it then. It shouldn't be hard to find. There aren't many phylacteries here. Just out of every single apprentice. Oh. Okay. That's one at least paralyzed. Like that. I'm not sure I'm cut out for this. It's either you or me. I'm stunned! I'm stunned! No! Don't stun me, I'm too stunning. <laughs> Is it just me or do you actually think you have a chance? Let's get started. Try to make this quick! Let's make this quick, shall we? I am low in health, but there we go. I noticed I was low in health, but I was pretty sure I was gonna be able to make it, and I did. I did. Oh, yeah, chest, I was taking that. 
Nearly in potion. As you wish. Oh, that's the other door from before. Which just opens without issues from the back. With a little noise, but it opens. Ah, Joan's phylactery. So phylacteries are people's blood. That's a big phylactery then. Somebody got basically drained. Okay then. That's my phylactery! You found it! I can't believe this tiny vial stands between me and freedom. So fragile. So easy just to be rid of it. To end its hold over me. And I am free. I expected a larger room and more phylacteries. Only apprentice phylacteries are stored in a circle tower. This tiny room could not hold the phylacteries of every mage who has passed through the tower doors. Come on, you two. We're done here. We should leave. Then let us move I on. I do not want to stay here a moment longer. You don't have to. Oh, wait. Maybe this way? It might be shorter. <laughs> this is like right at the door. Ta-da! We did it! We did it! I can't believe it! Thank you! We could never have... So what you said was true. Ah... This looks bad. G Gregor... An initiate conspiring with a blood mage. I'm disappointed, Lily. She seems shocked, but fully in control of her own mind. Not a thrall of the Blood Mage, then. You were right, Irvin. The Initiate has betrayed us. The Chantry will not let this go unpunished. And this one. Newly a mage and already flouting the rules of the Circle. It's not her fault. This was my idea. She is here under my orders, Gregor. I take full responsibility for her actions. Wait, you... You led us into a trap? Mmm, your actions were misguided, Joan. Don't you dare speak to me! Enough! As Knight Commander of the Templars here assembled, I sentence this blood mage to death. And this initiate has scorned the Chantry and her vows. Take her to Aenar. Aenar? The... the mage's prison! Oh. No! Please, no! Not there! No! I won't let you touch her! Blood magic. By the maker. Blood magic. How could you? You said you never... I, admit, I I dabbled. I thought it would make me a better mage. Blood magic is evil, Jowan. It corrupts people. Changes them. I'm going to give it up. All magic. I just want to be with you, Lily. Please, come with me. I trusted you. I was ready to sacrifice everything for you. I don't know who you are, Blood Mage. Stay away from me. Are you all right? Where's Gregor? I knew it. Blood Magic. But to overcome so many, I never thought him capable of such power. You lied to me. None of us expected this. Are you all right, Gregor? As good as can be expected given the circumstances. If you had let me act sooner, this would not have happened. Now we have a blood mage on the loose and no way to track him down. You can't have gone far. Believe me, we will use our every resource. 
Where is the girl? I... I am here, sir. You helped a blood mage. Look at all he's hurt. She didn't know. Save your breath. I can speak for myself. Night Commander, I... I was wrong. I was accomplice to a... a blood mage. I will accept whatever punishment you see fit. Even... even Aenar. Get her out of my sight. And you. You were in a repository full of magics that are locked away for a reason. Did you take anything important from the repository? No. Very well. I believe you. <laughs> but your antics have made a mockery of this circle. What are we to do with you? I had no idea he was a blood mage. As I said, she was working under my orders. And this improves the situation. The phylactery chamber is forbidden to all save you and me. I had my reasons. You're not all knowing, Irving. You don't know how much influence the blood mage might have had. How are we to deal with this? Knight Commander, if I may, I'm not only looking for mages to join the King's army, I'm also recruiting for the Grey Wardens. Irving spoke highly of this mage, and I would like her to join the Warden ranks. What? You've promised him a new Grey Warden? She has served the Circle well. She would make an excellent Grey Warden. We look for dedication in our recruits. Fighting the Darkspawn requires such dedication, often at the expense of all else. I object. You say she operated under your instructions, Irving. But I do not trust her. I must investigate this issue, and I will not release this mage to the Grey Warden. If the Grey Wardens will have me, I'll gladly go. Rhaegar, mages are needed. This mage is needed. Worse things plague this world than blood mages. You know that. I take this young mage under my wing and bear all responsibility for her actions. This mage does not deserve a place in the Order. Why? Do we not reward service? This mage has served the Circle well. You have an opportunity few even dream of. Do not squander it. What lies in store for me? We must make our way to Ostagar, where the King's army is camped. You will be initiated there. I will explain more when the time comes. Thank you for everything, First Enchanter. Come. Your new life awaits. Sorry if you could hear the background noises earlier. It's one of the reasons why I'm limited in time that I can record. It's a really busy area I live in, especially now during summer. We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar, on the edges of the Kokari Wilds. The Tevinter Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment, but all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho oh there, Duncan. King Caelan. I didn't expect a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Not if I could help it, Your Majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other Wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is she? Allow me to introduce you, Your Majesty. There's no need to be so formal, Duncan. We'll be shedding blood together after all. Ho oh there, friend. Might I know your name? I am Nindigalathiel. Well, in this game, Nindigal, Your Majesty. Pleased to meet you. The Grey Wardens are desperate to bolster their numbers, and I, for one, am glad to help them. I understand you hail from the Circle of Magi. I trust you have some spells to help us in the coming battle. I will do my best, of course. Excellent. We have too few mages here. Another is always welcome. 
Allow me to be the first to welcome you to Ostagar. The Wardens will benefit greatly with you in their ranks. You are too kind, Your Majesty. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Loghain waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. You sound very confident of that. Overconfident, some would say. Right, Duncan? <laughs> Your Majesty, I'm not certain the blight can be ended quite as quickly as you might wish. I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of darkspawn on the field, but alas, we've seen no sign of an archdemon. Disappointed, Your Majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the tales. A king riding with the fabled Grey Wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell, Grey Wardens. What the King said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. You don't seem very reassured. Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn horde grows larger with each passing day. By now, they look to outnumber us. I know there is an archdemon behind this, but I cannot ask the King to act solely on my feelings. Then maybe we should move quickly. Yes, we should proceed with the ritual. Uh, what do you need me to do? Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is oh, another worry. Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you're ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Until then, I have business I must attend to. You may find me at the Grey Warden tent on the other side of this bridge should you need to. Calm down, music. Calm down. It's okay. There you go. <laughs> anyway, that's about all the little. That is about all the time I have for this episode. I hope to see you guys in the next part and uh, take care.